Hey there, Tad Hargrave here from Marketing for Hippies. Today's video is about the fear of being judged. It's connected to a video I did recently about self-doubt. Okay, the fear of being judged. There was a question that came to me. How do you get over the fear of being judged? Let me put it back to you a different way. You're always being judged. Um, you're never going to stop that. People will judge you as being great, being terrible. So the more specific question is, how, how do you get over the fear of being judged uh, in a way you don't want to be judged? This is, of course, the thing most of us would love it if people judge us as they're the best person in their industry. They're the only one to spend money with. We'd be thrilled. Okay, but they're judging us in a way we don't want. But wait, it's not that simple either. Because when people operate out of a fear of judgment, the fear of rejection. What happens is they become very plain, vanilla. Uh, I love vanilla though, actually, so not a good analogy. But you know, they become bland, <clears throat> tasteless, generic. And then they get judged as that. And so few people think about that. They think, well, I wouldn't want to be judged as terrible. So it's actually better to be judged as just generic. I would say that is not accurate. Being judged as generic, that's the end of your business. Because what that means, you got a mountain of maybes. A bunch of people say, yeah, maybe I work with them. Oh yeah, they're on the list. They seem not right. They're okay. Not bad. Yeah, maybe I'll work with them. Sure, why not? One day, and of course those maybes almost always turn into no's. Thank you. Yeah, those maybes almost always turn into no's. So, is that what you want to be judged as? Because that's what's coming. That's what I'm saying. The fear of being judged in ways you don't like has you stay silent. Has you not say important things that you need to say. And by not saying those things, there's nothing that distinguishes you. By not having an opinion you make it very difficult for people to form a strong opinion about you. But they will still form a strong opinion. It just won't be unfavorable and it won't be favorable. It'll be, eh. And that opinion, that judgment from others, that's game over. That's the end of the road. Your business is done. It may just take a while for it to wind down. It's actually much better to be hated by some people. Now, can you take it? I know that's hard. But if you are strongly hated by one group, it probably means there's another group that is loving you, is grateful for you speaking up. Yeah, so I just wanted to add that as, as an additional wrinkle. The fear of being judged creates a judgment that you didn't anticipate that you won't notice because it's not being trolled on social media. It's not a social media pile on. It's not being canceled overtly, but it's being quietly, silently canceled in the background as they just walk away and stop paying attention to you. So that's my thought for today. Tad Hargrave from Marketing for Hippies, marketingforhippies.com. If you go to my website, you can check out a new starter kit I've got that I think you might like. Uh, there's a ton of free stuff on my website as well. You can follow me on Instagram, on Facebook. Uh, if you like this video, it helps more people see it. And uh, if you subscribe to the channel, I will be very grateful for that. Uh, so that's all. Thank you so much, everybody, for uh, stopping by. And we'll see you in another video.